Hi there and welcome again to the Kunststoffschmiede here in Dresden. I'm Fritzi and today I will guide you through this tutorial on how to build your own plastic paddle shredder for a transparent and quite sportive plastic recycling action. And most important, it's unplugged. So in total this video consists of four different parts. In the first part we will talk about some security issues. Afterwards we will show you how to build the frame. Then we will show you everything about the input mechanism and after this we'll talk about the cutting mill and its casing and in the end we'll put everything together and see how it works so before you start you need to plan the process carefully and prepare all the parts and machines make sure to take care of your environment and of yourself and before cited ear protection does not help against fire and lightning Moreover, you have to be aware of what you are doing and what machines you are using. You need to make safety to your number one priority. Please wear adequate safety equipment, gloves, safety goggles, ear protection and protective clothes are minimal requirements. And make sure to blunt every sharp edge on your machine. The shredder will be used in public or for education and we don't want anyone to get hurt. Even if you are aware of your machine, a very safe shredder is necessary because people tend to ignore given advice and become encouraged to try out dangerous experiments and those fast rotating knives really have the potential to cut even more than plastic. The shredder drive is more based on high speed than on the power itself. This way we can make full use of the bicycle as a major component of the shredder. For the frame of our pedal shredder we use a home trainer as a template and we transfer the measurements on a wooden panel. When you start sawing the metal profiles, don't forget the oil. It simplifies the process, cools down the saw and you'll get a much better result. We prepared each part of the frame individually. And again, don't forget to blunt the sharp edges. Now you can begin to weld the different parts together. Before you start, make sure to wear long sleeve clothes, your welding goggles and to inform all present persons. During the process, you have to check and maybe need to readjust the different parts according to a template. To make the frame hinged, you can provide it with the joint that will be welded on in the next step. Using a screw for this simplifies future maintenance work. For an easier welding process, we use an angle grinder to prepare the surfaces of the metal. You can find the overview of the different parts in the supplementary. And don't forget, for welding an extra training course is necessary. All of the metal profiles are now adjusted to fit perfectly. And in the end your frame has a nice joint to be even more mobile. For fastening the bicycle wheel to the frame, we created an adjustable jig by using two butterfly nuts together with a threaded rod. Especially those butterfly nuts enable you to clamp the bicycle wheel without any additional tools. Awesome, right? The joint in our frame makes the transport way easier, since it can be even jacked up to the bicycle. But having a joint has lots of advantages also requires a further stabilization of the frame for when the shredder is in use. For this we use an old bike chain that is fixed with screws on the two supple joints of the frame. This way the chain is easily exchangeable. The next step is to build the transmission to the cutting mill. We decided to use a friction wheel made of wooden cylinders. It needs to be flexible and to fit to different bicycle wheels. You can fix it to the frame with a threaded rod and two ball bearings. To make it adjustable, we cut two slits into the frame after determining the exact position for the bearings. With the red nets you can fix the fraction wheel now according to the size of the bicycle wheel you use. And this all results in a fully operative and adjustable frame and clutch. Now we have to prepare the plastic input. For this we took two normal pipes one slightly smaller than the other and took their measurements. We milled fitting wooden parts for the heels and the fixation. For this we used our self-made CNC machine named Inge. If you don't have your own, just ask in open workspaces or fab labs in your area. 
to provide more transparency, we cut two plexiglass circles with our laser cutter. If you're interested in this technique, just check out our first video about plexiglass mold making. The plexiglass is fitted into the CNC wooden parts. And those again are fitted into the tube. And everything works fine since it was all designed in 3D models before. Now you can cut the openings into the tubes. The outer one requires two openings. One at the top and one at the bottom. And the inner one only one. And make sure that the openings are big enough for the plastic you want to recycle, like for example yogurt cups. To fix the plexiglass to the wooden part, you can easily use screws and nuts. Especially the washers help holding the curled circle. To keep a certain distance between the inner and the outer tube, we tried to use a felt ribbon. But that actually did not work out that well because of too high friction. A way better solution is to use a plexiglass ring instead of the felt. To turn the tube safely, we bend it in lever and fix it with screws and nuts. The holes for the mounting part were pre-drilled and provided with the hole by a countersink drill. Now you can put everything together. As already mentioned, we want to have the recycling process visible, so we decided to make the part between the tubes and the cutting mill as transparent as possible. Due to the high speed of the rotating knives, we decided though to use a perforated metal sheet, plexiglass and metal plates to reduce any risks for the users. Different parts were cut out, adjusted and in the end put together. Oh and by the way, the lever broke quite soon and we have a new solution. This is it. Now to the actual shredder. As you can see here, we use an aluminium profile which is shrinked in a steel shaft and fixed with a transverse bolt. The casing is made of solid metal plates and for the bottom we used a perforated panel. Everything is cut and afterwards attached. We decided to use screws for the whole casing to make maintenance and cleaning way easier in the future. All of the different parts were prepared in our workshop. Everything has to be really solid and safe since, as already mentioned, those fast rotating knives really represent a potential risk of injury. We drilled most of the holes with our drill press. Again, very important, the oil. When you have everything ready, you can insert the drilling mill into the casing by fixing the bow bearings to the side parts and carefully adjust everything together. For collecting the granulate, we recommend you to use a metal box, since it can conduct the charge of the plastic particles, which makes it way easier to clean the box later. We bend simple metal sheets on our banding machine. And then we revided and adjusted the parts. Now the connection part between the plastic input and the cutting mill need to be adjusted and fastened. When it fits on the casing of the cutting mill, you are good to go and drill the holes for the fixation. We moreover cut a thread into the holes to easily be able to resemble the plastic input from the cutting mill later on again. Now everything is ready to make plastic fly again. The metal box for the granulate can be easily at and detached with the help of metal handles. And of course, never forget to clean your workspace before you leave. After all of this work, the pedal shredder is now finally ready to be used. Let's shred! Are you sure that you can build the shredder within several days? And we want to encourage you to do this. And for this, we also provide you with the 
development uh, with the construction plans actually um, that you can download and we also have a ready to use kit for the construction of the track with the key elements already in it so you don't have to order them all by your own. Um, also if you want to learn more about the Comscale Schmiede you can uh, look on our website or on Facebook and Instagram and if you decide to build the credit on your own and have any questions or comments you can always contact us and we would be happy and glad to see your pictures of your shredder. So see you next time. Bye!